Hi, this is Judy. Hi there, Judy. This is Windsor calling from American Air. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I work here at the corporate office. Reason for the call is I understand you'd reached out to us with a complaint about a uh, missing piece of luggage. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Uh, I have lost my bag never to be seen again since December 30th. And um, the treatment with which I have experienced from American is beyond disappointing. Mm. Without answers, no resolution. The only contact I ever got back was because I put something on Twitter. That's, right. That's okay. disappointing. I finally got... I mean, I doubt that's 100% correct because you only have 46 followers. So it's very unlikely that was the cause of this. We are reaching out because you'd obviously filed a complaint on the phone. I No, I never got anybody on the phone. I was on hold four times for well over an hour without anyone picking up. And the response I got was, oh, sorry, we're busy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we Hi. we we are, you know, facing a staff shortage at the moment on account of what's obviously going on in the world. Um, now, I'm going to try and get this resolved for you. Where did you lose your bag? Where did you leave it? I checked it from Palm Springs Airport. It went through Dallas, and then it was supposed to show up at O'Hare. Unfortunately, the flight left late from Palm Springs delivering us to Dallas with a very tight connection. We made the plane. Our luggage did not. No surprise. We found out via the app that the bags did not make the plane, at which point we <clears throat> went to the baggage office, gave everybody all of the information, gave the bag tags, the tracking numbers, receipts, everything. Mm -hmm. I got an immediate email from that person with the bag tag numbers stating there were four pieces that were checked through. And she said it would be on the next plane. And I said, we need to leave. This was December 30th. She said, we can send it to your house. Great. The next day, three bags showed up. And unfortunately, the guy obviously had no information on the fourth one. And all of the tools that American has in place to check your bag online the status either said it either threw me an error on the website. That was a couple of times. Then it said no information available. Then another website, where's my suitcase or some, where's my baggage, something, had no information whatsoever, nothing on the bag. It's as if it completely disappeared. I went to the paperwork. I finally, finally got a call last week. I'm going to say Wednesday. Maybe it was Thursday uh, from somebody. Unfortunately, I was working and followed with an email saying, please fill out this form, which asked me to identify almost every single piece in my luggage. I don't remember. My bag is blue. It has my initials on it. It's tagged. I'd like to know where it is. If it's in a warehouse, I will go get it. How does it disappear? I, I just, I'm confused. I don't understand. Well, I have, uh, I've just been going through our entire tracking system while you were speaking there, as well as taking some notes. Um, I have good news and bad news. Um, just to confirm, can you describe the bag for me, what it looked like? It is a blue soft case roller bag. It has uh, a zipper, main zipper. It has two side zips. It's not very big. Most of the time I carry it on, which, of course, now I'm kicking myself. Uh, the initials embroidered on there are J-I-S. It's tagged. It's yeah. very full. Um, well, the good news is we have we have located the bag. Um, we have absolutely located the bag, and we we do have it ready for collection for you. Um, the bad news is it looks like we only have the bag. The contents is is now gone, so it is just the bag. What? Um, but you can come and uh, collect it from us um, any time from tomorrow. I will arrange for somebody to be aware of it so that it's ready to go quickly for you. And I just apologize for the inconvenience that you've had with this. So tell me what exactly happened. The last communication I got was we have surveillance of the baggage carousel. 
and we will send it to you to maybe appropriately identify any bag that looks to be blue, that looks to be the same shape, same size. I never heard anything back. I never got an email. I never got pictures, nothing. Yeah. So did they get it, dump it, and return it? What no, you- the, the notes that I have here, they haven't left very good notes, and uh, <clears throat> I may need to call the supervisor in the baggage department, but the notes they've left here, it just says uh, contents fell out of plane. Uh, which does occasionally happen when they're moving things around in storage mid-flight. Again, I'm so sorry that this wasn't communicated to you. It fell out of the plane. Wow. Yeah, they've just put fell out of plane here. Um, But I can... uh, They do have more information over in the baggage department. If you do want a better explanation, I can patch in a supervisor from over there. I would love one. I'm just really dumbfounded. And and obviously there's nothing I can do if it's somewhere scattered over in between Dallas and Chicago. Obviously nothing I can do, and it's probably frozen. What about my belongings? What about the, everything that I've lost? Again, I can only apologize for that, ma'am, but... Um... Obviously, uh, you know, it's a very rare event, but these things do happen from time to time. And obviously, given the nature of the situation, there's very little I can do about it. Well, is, what what type of reimbursement are you planning to offer me for all of my contents that were my favorites that I took on vacation for the better part of 12 days? Well, I would need to speak to the supervisor in the baggage department to see what level of compensation, if any, could be uh, could be added. Would you mind if I place you on a very brief hold while I patch them in, and we will obviously be able to get an answer for you straight away then? Would that be all right? Yes. Okay, bear with me. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hi there, is that is that baggage? Yes, Hello. sir, how can I help? Hi there, yeah, it's uh, Ron over at AA, uh, employee number 80085. Um, reason for the call, I've got quite an upset lady on hold right now, she can't hear us. Uh, can I give you our internal tracking number? Please do. Um, so, internal tracking number is XPC69420. Zero one. Hang on one second. Um, I, uh, identifying features are that it had some initials on it. JIS, I think it is. I doubt that screen open uh, right now. Jizz. Yes, that's right. Um, reason for the call: the lady's on hold right now, and she she can't hear us. But I need to patch her in in a moment. Um, she's obviously just found out um, the bag is empty. Um, I'm arranging it for it to be collected from tomorrow morning. Um, we need to authorize some kind of compensation package for her. Um, On the tracking notes on my system, it just says fell out of plane. Um, What does it say at your end? Because I know you get a detailed report on each item, and I just want to find out before we patch her back in. Yeah, that's what I understand. Fell out. I'm pretty sure Julio just, you know how he gets. Oh, God. what? It's been addressed with this supervisor. You know, he's been. What was he doing? What was he doing exactly this time? Well, it's. he He has an alcohol problem. And I'm pretty sure he just chucked the shit out the plane, from what I understand. I mean, it was... Oh, God. Was he trying on the clothes again? Yeah, that's... Oh, kind of assumed that as well. Sake. Yeah. Well, look, don't, don't tell her that, okay? Just tell her that there was a problem with a safety hatch and the bag opened and they fell out, okay? And then, um... This lady's a dumbass, so just offer her the Olive Garden package. You know, the compensation... Did you tell her that we do have the bag? Yeah, I told her that we've got the empty bag, so uh, she's, I guess, going to collect that or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, ju- just don't don't tell her all that shit about Julio. Just say that it was an accident. Just make something up, okay? Okay. Let me patch her Thank in. Thank you. Thanks, Kirby. Hold on one sec. Thank you for holding. You're speaking with Julio and Baggage. Who am I speaking with? This is Judy. 
Hello, Judy. How are you doing? I'm um, not very good. Uh, finding out that my bag is now missing for the better part of 10 day, 12 days, and that the con you have the bag, but not the content. So I asked the uh, kind gentleman who called me to help resolve this issue, which had been quite a challenge, um, to help explain this. What I, I cannot even begin to understand what happened. Have you had any previous issues, ma'am, with us before? Yeah, yeah, I have. Not with baggage, though. Um, just regular airline stuff. Uh, yeah, I have. Okay, and if you don't mind me asking, what exactly were, were you told on the previous with the previous associate? That the bag has been located. However, the contents are gone. You had the, you I'm not exactly sure, it's a blue bag. It uh, looks like it's not too large with jizz embroidered on it. Yeah. Okay. Is, is there some significant meaning be behind that? Behind what? Other than it was all of my favorite the, clothes that I took on vacation for 12 days. And decided okay, let me, I need to go ahead and document that. Let somebody what, handle it. Was there anything else besides clothing in there, ma'am? There were gifts. There were things that I purchased. There were things that you purchased. There were a lot of things in there that were of significant meaning to me. I, it doesn't. I, I'm not sure why this is relevant to the conversation, other than I'm trying to find out how. What's how would that not be relevant to the conversation if you're complaining and posting on social media about things about your missing bag? How is that not relevant? If you don't mind me asking. I'd like to speak to your supervisor, Julio, to resolve this and get some sort of compensation. And we can put this all to bed and your airline can um, can maybe make some improvements for the future. Is there a supervisor available, please? Of course, there's a supervisor available, ma'am. Do you mind me asking why you would like to speak to him? Because I am not being treated very nicely by somebody who is attempting to resolve an issue that because is because I asked out what there items were in the, the bag? better part of two weeks. Is, I'm, I'm contacting my supervisors to speak, but I, I just don't understand. You're upset because I asked you what was in the bag? I'm upset because you're not treating me kindly, sir. You have kindly. yelled at me, and I have a Would you like me to tickle you? To I, I don't understand. Airline. I'm listening. I have made several attempts to get a hold of your airline without any resolution, without any information. This is where we are. And now well, I'm giving you the information. Guys. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> Scoby Sco Sco got upset with her. I'll call her back, see if she wants another supervisor. Julio, were you trying on the clothes again? I was to be sure. <gasps> Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hi there, ma'am. It's uh, Windsor again with American. Um, I saw that the call with the uh, baggage department was terminated. I just wanted to make sure everything got resolved for you. No, it wasn't. And by the way, I was not on hold. And thanks <gasps> for calling me a dumbass. Where the hell is your supervisor? Get oh me on the phone with that person right now. Right <laughs> now. You want to speak to my supervisor? Yes. Oh. For calling me a dumbass. Passing me through to somebody who yelled at me, I cannot even believe this. I, the fact that my clothes are missing are bad enough. And then I have people calling, calling me a dumbass. The clothes are missing. Behind my back. Good job. Excellent job. Who is in charge of this department? You, they, they have to know how poorly this was managed. My supervisor is Kathy. Would you like to speak to her? I would love to talk to Kathy right now. Oh, okay, ma'am. Just, I'm sorry about this. Bear with me. No, you're not. Don't ever call a customer a dumbass. What the hell? Ma'am, please. I'm trying to do my job here. You don't need to yell at me like this. Uh, we, we just want to get you reunited with your jizz bag. Can you bear with me a moment? Yeah. Your call is very important to us. 
Please hold. You've reached Kathy, American Air. How may I help you? Kathy? Hello. This is Judy Seibel. Hello. I have been I have been placed in your presence for possibly the worst customer experience I have ever had. And I've lived for over a half century. Kathy, the ridiculousness that has happened this evening cannot top the fact that I do not have my baggage mm-hmm. and nobody had gotten back to me with any information for the past 12 days. However, this okay. evening, let me run you through exactly what happened. Please do. I get a call from Windsor who says, well, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, I said the only response I ever got was going on Twitter. And he said, well, you only have 46 followers. Okay. Okay irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Why does it take a social media outreach to have somebody call you back? That was after several days of no information, anything in the automated system, which I totally appreciate, didn't have any information. Well, that's why, because nobody seemed to get back to me. Finally, I get a response. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Just, I'm just making my notes here, but uh, you tried calling about your missing bag and couldn't get through or... Nobody picked up. I was on the phone for four times, separate occasions, over several days. No one ever picked up the phone, ever, ever. The baggage line that is referenced in the ticket number, no one ever picked it up. The automated system had no information on my bag. Mm-hmm. One, a couple of times, the website threw me an error, fine. The other times, on the link to the website, where's my suitcase, no information. It's like the bag never existed. Okay? okay? So the fact that it didn't make the plane is not so aggravating. What's aggravating is the follow-up. And the only response I ever got was because I took to social media. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness I did. Mm-hmm. Well, then the last communication I got was, please fill out this four-page form, remembering every single piece of clothing or article that you have in your bag. Mm-hmm. Fine. Did that. Oh, we have pictures from the carousel. We'll send them to you. Nope, never got it. Left a message for the person who initially contacted me. Hey, never got it. Did you send it? Maybe you didn't. Maybe you don't have it. I don't know. Okay, so do you have your bag now? No, I do not have my bag. Tonight, after posting again, I emailed via the direct message and said, this is ridiculous. This was the last thing I heard. I don't have any new information. You supposedly have pictures of any blue bag that came off that evening on December 30th. No info. Yeah, so it looks like they have the bag. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I get a call to say that, oh, well, there's good news and bad news. We do have your bag. Unfortunately, it's empty. What? What do you mean it's empty? Well, let me pass you through to the baggage supervisor. That would be great. I would love an explanation. By the way, Kathy... Mm-hmm. I was not on hold, and this person called me a dumbass, <gasps> told him to make something up. Wait, who I called you a dumbass? What? Who called you a dumbass? Windsor. Okay. He said, she's a dumbass, and she's posting on Twitter, so just give her whatever. I mean, I don't care. What happened to the bag? Apparently, some guy who shouldn't be employed, I don't know the details, Yeah, I think it was him. He was on the ship, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about the details, but the fact of the matter is I don't have a bag. I don't have all of my favorite things. There were gifts in there from Christmas. Are you kidding me? And then to have that, so I get patched through. I'm putting that in air quotes, which you can't see. Mm -hmm. To Julio. Hi, who's this? This is Judy Seibel. Okay. Um, Julio proceeds to yell at me after um, attempting to say, well, was anything of significance in the bag? Yeah, all in my favorite clothes. That's what you take on vacation. 
which, by the way, haven't been on vacation in two years. Thank you very much. I went on a family vacation. Thank you. You lost my bag. All I'm doing is attempting to collect, and nobody gets back to me. Mm -hmm. And then he starts yelling at me. I said, that's irrelevant. I said, what happened to the bag? This is what I'm trying to understand, and what compensation are you prepared to give me for all of my favorite articles of clothing that are now gone, floating over Dallas, Chicago, somewhere in between? And he said, why is it? What do you mean that's irrelevant? I'm trying to understand. I said, I filled out a form, Julio. I would like to speak to your supervisor. And he said, no. I, he was incredibly rude. And I said, I cannot believe. He said, why do you want to speak to my supervisor? I said, because you are treating me in a very unfriendly manner. All I want is understanding what the hell happened to my bag. And may I please speak to your supervisor? And he starts yelling at me again, and I hung up. Windsor called me back. He said, oh, I noticed the call drop. Yeah. Why would I sit on the line and have some uh, some guy yell at me when it's a customer service call? Are you kidding me? And I said, and by the way, Windsor, I wasn't on hold. And thanks for calling me a dumbass. Who is your supervisor? I need to talk to that person right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. I've never I, dealt with I, anything like this. I just, if my head could pop off and then be reattached, it would already have been done. Kathy, what is going on? What is going on? It's bad enough. My clothes are floating in between two cities. What the hell? How do you have people that treat customers like that? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I totally understand. I like. Fire- To be honest, though, like, it has just gotten so bad here lately with COVID and the the mass resignation. Like, I think they're just hiring everybody. Like, I've had another instance like this before where someone off the ramp took someone's clothes, their knickers, their everything, and just brought them home. So I'm prepared to... Yeah, I know. Kathy, I, I, I mean, nothing surprises me. I'm sure you as well. I, I, I'm attempting to get some information. And then what I received on the other end of it was, oh, this, this chastising for going after American on, Ameri- on, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, well, when I don't get information or resolution and I'm attempting to get that when clearly I have all of these tags and information, I still have it. Absolutely. What, what, what would you expect a customer to do? No, absolutely. I'm totally on your side. So what, so from my understanding from the notes here that they did find your bag. So we're going to deliver that to you, at least the bag. And I'm going to work on finding the contents, but um, until then I'm going to offer you um, the full compensation of uh, what was in the bag. And I see your list here on uh, on my computer and everything. So um, I'm going to offer you the, um, the full compensation and I hope you're happy with it. Um, and I can get that uh, delivered to you within the next business day or two, depending on the shipping. So what I'm prepared to offer you is $20 gift card to the Olive Garden. What? A $20? Gift card. Oh to the Olive Garden. Their breadsticks are amazing. If you have never been there, oh my gosh. And unlimited soup and salad. Incredible. Kathy, please tell me you're kidding. That this is what American Airlines gives. No, like, this home. is what I'm allowed to offer. It's our best package because we've lost so much business with, you know, the past almost two years. So nobody's been flying. We've lost a lot of money and everything. Between me and you, the company's going broke. So I'm, I'm, twenty dollars. I can have that. I have your address, so I'm going to ship that out to you right away. Is there anything else I can help you with today? When when can I expect the check for the contents of my bag, which include a lot of meaningful things, which Julio claims that aren't meaningful? Okay, so this is what uh, is going to happen. So. Oh, I can do... Okay, so they haven't shipped your bag to you yet, so what I'm going to do is put the gift card in the empty bag so then you'll have your full compensation right away. 
well, no, 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 no. What, what's the compensation for the contents of the bag? The Olive Gar- can, Garden gift uh, card. What? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? The Olive Garden gift card. That's what I can offer you. I, I lost thousands of dollars of clothing. And you're giving me a $20 gift card? Well, it's to the Olive Garden, so you could potentially eat that many breadsticks. You could just stay there all day and eat that many breadsticks. That would be good compensation. They're amazing. I'm going to go to the Olive Garden after work today. Please tell me I'm on some sort of candid camera recording something. Ma'am. American Air, this is what we do. This is how, how the compensation works. When you buy your ticket, you sign up in our terms and conditions that any lost or stolen luggage is not our responsibility. Okay. Okay. I'm at your I know you're giving me the hard sale. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're, you've done this before. Okay, so this is what I'll, I'll sweeten the deal a little bit, okay? So I'll give you five bucks. On the Mega Millions, you might win, and then you can get all your clothes back. How does that sound? <laughs> this is this has to be a joke. Please tell me. I mean, I'm looking at an 800 number here, but this has to be a joke. I don't really have to see why. Joke. I don't I, see I'm, how this I'm, would be I'm a sorry. joke. I, I'm gonna, That's twenty five dollars and potentially millions. I, I'm Kathy. This this conversation is over. This has been such a waste of time. Um, I've been insulted, abused verbally. Um, please keep the bag, the $20, the $5 in the Mega Millions. Offer it to somebody else, and I will take my business happily elsewhere to somebody that treats me well. Well, who am I, I supposed to give this ugly-ass bag to? It says jizz on it. <laughs> 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 no one wants the fucking back. 